friends. Growing up in a rural agrarian family, my parents raised us eight siblings and I. We are raised very close to nature. We had almost everything for all our food was produced at home except salt and sugar. <laughs> Those were the only times uh, my father would buy from the market. <laughs> we had variety of foods, varieties of fruits, vegetables, rice, cassava, yam, goat milk, chickens, ducks, uh, and rabbits. <laughs> we all learned to work in the field, till the land, and graze the animals. I'm, my family has uh, a long line of green thumbs, particularly my eldest brother. What attracted me most was the way he grafted plants. He would take cuttings from the best quality rubber trees and uh, fruit trees and graft them into strong roots. We still have one of those uh, mango trees he grafted producing mangoes almost throughout the year. It is right in our courtyard. <laughs> he would often experiment with grafting one plant to the other, but he had to know his trees because not all trees are compatible. All plants are not compatible with the other. And that is why Jesus asked, do you pick grapes from thorn bushes? or figs from thistles? He says, by their fruits, you will know them. Our first reading today tells us that God made a covenant with Abraham, a covenant which our responsorial psalm tells us is binding for a thousand generations. St. Paul, in several of his letters to the Gentile Christians, tells us that we are like wild olive branches which have been grafted into God's special olive roots because we have believed in Christ. So now we also receive the blessing God has promised Abraham and his children. When God established his covenant with Abraham, Abraham trusted God fully and God blessed him and his descendants. And today's psalm reminds us that the Lord remembers his covenant forever. And the psalmist sings, make known among the nations his deeds. Are we grafted in because we believe in Jesus? Do we see ourselves and our families as part of the covenant? Are we ready to make God's name known to others? God bless you and your families.